hello guys welcome and welcome back to Rukia's kitchen today I'm going to show you how to make tasty soft donuts if you haven't subscribed to my channel please please kindly do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week then stay tuned to enjoy my recipe on today's ingredient you're going to need one teaspoon of baking powder two tablespoon of sugar some icing sugar which we're going to use at the end to decorate our donuts two cups of wheat flour five to six tablespoon of butter or margarine a pinch of salt a half a teaspoon of cardamom powder a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract one egg and some warm milk In a large bowl, start by adding 2 tablespoons of sugar, then add 5 to 6 tablespoons of butter and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix everything well. Followed by one egg and continue mixing till everything is well combined. Once everything is well combined like this, you're going to take a large sieve, a two cups of wheat flour, a half a teaspoon of cardamom powder, a pinch of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder, and sieve in the bowl and mix everything well. Continue mixing all the ingredients using your hands. Then lastly, you're going to pour some warm milk. Pour a bit by a bit while mixing till everything is well combined so you can able to get a dough. As you can see in the video, I only used a quarter cup of milk. I didn't use the whole milk. Then continue kneading the dough Till the dough is super soft. Then you're going to remove the dough from the bowl and place it on a working surface and continue kneading. Then afterwards you're going to divide the dough into two. Then afterwards, take one dough at a time and roll out the dough into a medium thick circle. In shaping my donuts, I'm going to use these cutters or you can use a glass in a bottle lid, that's up to you. Make sure when you're rolling out the circle, the circle should not be thin. It has to be thick like this. Then take your cutter and shape your donuts. And I'm done shaping my donuts as you can see in the video. Then afterwards, I'm going to make a hole at the center. I'm going to use the smallest cutter to make a hole in the middle or you can use a bottle lid to make a hole. Once you're done shaping your donuts, cover the donuts for at least 7 to 10 minutes so that the dough gets more softer. And after 7 to 10 minutes, then it's high time to deep fry our donuts. Pour some oil on a pot and let the oil to heat up a bit. Once the oil is a bit hot, dip in the donuts slowly by slowly and let the donuts to cook on a medium heat so that the donuts can bake inside. Thank you. 
Flip them constantly so that they can cook evenly to have a nice golden brown color. Once your donuts are well cooked and have this amazing golden brown color, then your donuts are ready and remove them from the oil and place them aside. And my soft donuts are ready as you can see in the video. Let them cool down completely before decorating them with the icing sugar. Once your donuts have cooled down completely, I'm going to decorate my donuts using some icing sugar or you can use some melted chocolate or anything that you like. And I'm done decorating my donuts as you can see in the video. You can store them in a tight container so that they can get more softer. I'm going to cut a donut into two so you can able to see how soft the donut looks. And my tasty soft donuts are ready as you can see in the video. These donuts are so, so tasty. You can eat along with a cup of milk or tea and enjoy your donuts. Thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram, Rukia's Kitchen, for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.